Hello and welcome to the channel. It looks like spring has finally sprung and is going to stay, fingers crossed. So in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and get my outdoor space all ready for the season. So let's go ahead and get started. Now my outdoor space during the winter time goes completely uncared for. <laughs> I have things that have not survived the winter season. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a lot to get together. So we're going to go ahead and get started today. And I can tell you now that I was very much so wrong that spring was here to stay. It was 80 degrees. I think on the first day that I started here it was in February and child winter came back and we had some 40 degree days and anywho i think we're back to some decent weather so i'm gonna go ahead now and get it going now this project as many of my home projects took many days to do partly because of the weather and then also because i just take my time with things like this this fiddle leaf fig was in my home and it started to struggle. It just like all of a sudden took a turn for the worse. And on one of those nice warm days here, I decided, oh, I'll put it outside. Maybe some natural sunlight will help it. Well, it went down below freezing one night and I forgot it was out there and the rest is history. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I have to start all over again with fiddle leaf fig because I loved it and I had much success with it for a while. But anyway, let me go ahead and look at my garden beds here. Now, I like to do container gardening. I um, don't have a whole, whole lot of space for planting out here on my deck, but I do like to try my hand at whatever it is that I can do. So what I'm going to be doing today is just kind of getting out these dead plants out of here. Uh, replacing some of my soil and getting my pots ready for the planting process. I like to plant tomatoes. I like collard greens and lettuce out here. Those are the ones I've had the most success with, but I've also planted some um, string beans and some cucumbers in the past as well. Just whatever I can grow in a container pot. So this is the remnants from <laughs> the winter, which is mostly just weeds left. The only thing that kind of survived through the winter months were my collards and my mint. Everything else just kind of died on out. I do have the greenhouses, but honestly, I keep forgetting to close them up at night. And so I end up with a bunch of frozen crops. But I promise that I will do better this year because I want to get really, really serious about my container gardening. My collards look a hot mess right now, but just a few weeks ago, this was a nice little harvest that I had. So I do have much success with them and I hope to this year as well. All right. I probably put in a day's worth already. I'm not going to do anything else because it is hot out here. I'm sweating. So I'm just going to sit here and relax. So stay tuned for day two. I love outdoor rugs, but they really take a beating from the sun. This one I've had out here for about two years and where I probably could stretch another year out of it, I am tired of it and ready for it to go. So I'm going to take advantage of this little refresh time to remove um, the rug from here. The next day was more grueling work. Um, I got the house power wash and also had to clear off the deck of everything so that the deck could be power washed as well. Nothing is better than a fresh washed deck because the pollen in my area is insane. So I at least want to start off the season with a nice clean deck. So that's what I'm doing. And I replaced that rug with this one. I thought it was going to be a lot brighter in color. I was just feeling oranges and yellows for this space for this season. But anyway, this is how it came. I love the rug. Wish it was brighter, but we're going to live with it and hopefully get two years out of this one as well. My garden is my happy place and I've never taken advantage of hanging things on the wall. So I am um, on the side of the house. I got those hooks there and I'm going to put those there. And I went looking for some nice little um, art for outdoors. And I ended up with this cute little welcome sign with the daisies on it. I just thought that was really cute and it was perfect for the size. And then I wanted a very colorful uh, rug for the door as well. And I found this this one at Ross. I love, love, love the colors. I said I was feeling the oranges and the yellows and I'm having, I have green cushions on my chair. So this is perfect. 
And now that we've got that done, we got some new pillow covers as well. And I'm bringing that orange in with these pillow covers. Um, I use pillow covers all over my home, inside and out. And I get these off of Amazon. And they are very, very inexpensive. Uh, you can always find whatever style or colors that you're looking for. So I just Googled orange floral outdoor pillows. And this is what I found. And I absolutely love them. I have a bad habit of putting pillow covers on top of other pillow covers. So when I open up a pillow, I'm always pleasantly surprised that I'll run across a pillow that I didn't know where it was. <laughs> But anywho, that's what I'm doing here is just changing out these pillows and uh, really like these a lot. But again, they get sun um, faded from the sun and I just wanted to bring in something a little bit more vibrant. And once we get those pillows in place, we can go ahead and begin to place my pots down that are going to house my florals for the season. So I was going with more of a terracotta coppers oranges and yellows and oranges out here so i did find a couple of pansies to put out i also had this um i think it's called a ponytail palm i've had this for many years and every year uh, for the last two years i've given it to my son to foster for me through the winter he keeps it inside of his home and then gives it back in the spring um, it had a little rough time this this winter but it'll come back it loves it out here so now I'm going to go ahead and cut down um, these things that are in the garden because now I can begin the planting season several days have gone by and the weather seems to have tapered off and be more consistent we're no longer going down to uh, freezing temperatures during the night and then the daytime it's nice and sunny and bright i found this pot here at lowe's and i thought it would be perfect for this hanging basket here i wanted to bring in some color this one did not have the orange in but there was a little space in there so i ended up adding my own orange into this my local library had a seed program this year which was really nice all you had to do was show your library card and you could go up and you could pick five packs of seeds each day actually which was a lot <laughs> and guess who was there every day <laughs> yours truly yes I was I shared seeds with my sister and with my son they both would have been eligible anyway because they live um, in the area but they're working and unable to go so I helped them out we got collards, we got uh, squash, we got tomatoes, herbs, all types of seeds. I took advantage of whatever it was that they had to offer. So now that I have them, I can go ahead and get them planted here in my little containers so that we can get this season going. As you can see from the many wardrobe changes and hair color changes in this video, this took days to get done. I was bringing in plants to put out here and um, just trying to make it as pretty as possible. And then I would take my many, many breaks where I would just sit down and enjoy the nice weather. We have a nice long spring summer season here and I like to get everything together early on so that I can enjoy every moment of it. I'm really loving the way that this color is popping. This orange is so pretty. Orange has never been my color, but I must say I am enjoying this color already and it just makes me happy. So I've planted all my seeds and so now I need to give them a little bit of water. Um, we've had some rain, but not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of wash things down. There's a little bit of pollen that have settled in again. So we got to get that all cleaned up and everything before I can really Really sit down and relax for the day I'll probably be out here the rest of the day because it is absolutely perfect it's not too warm and it's not too much Sun so I know that I'm going to be preparing my dinner out here I'm gonna grill some salmon and I am baking some sweet potatoes and that's what I'm having for dinner I love sweet potatoes so um, yeah can't wait to get done it is so nice to have this extension to my home finally ready for the season I love the sunlight and they say that sunlight increases the serotonin in your brain which helps you to remain calm and positive and gives you energy and I know that I can need all of that that I can get. So I love sitting out here with my sunscreen on of course but getting that natural vitamin D. It is amazing and looking at my little things that I'm growing and hopefully they will grow. 
<laughs> but it's just my happy time of the year. I love the spring. It's such a beautiful time and just so relaxing for me. Tell me, what is your favorite season? Drop down in the comments below and be sure to let me know that as well. If I don't catch myself, I will sit out here from sunup to sundown and won't get very much done in the house. So I have to make sure I get my little things done during the day and come out here later. So now all the hard work is done and I can sit back and relax for a little while and wait for things to start coming up and hopefully that will be soon. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please don't leave without hitting the thumbs up button and also the subscribe button if you're not currently subscribed to my channel. I would love to have you stick around and be a part of my YouTube family and to all my returning family members, thank you so, so much for your support. I appreciate you and I hope to see you all over here on my next one. Bye-bye.